Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we be looking at this crazy V8 Gladiator build. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Carl Malone Dodge Ram here in Hebrew for giving me some time with this Gladiator. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. I'll also include a link to my car buying guide. Let's get into it. Now powering this is a 6.4 liter Hemi V8. It goes to an eight speed automatic transmission. I don't have exact power figures on this, but the 6.4 Hemi typically produces anywhere between 475 to 485 horsepower. So I guess we could say it produces probably about 480. And then this does have a 5.10 axle ratio. So with that much power and this axle ratio, it should feel pretty crazy. Before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now starting with the hood, I think the venting there is really sharp looking. And then popping down below, you do have these upgraded lights, like the little turn signal indicators too. Aftermarket bumper with a winch, another kind of cool detail. And you probably notice this, the whole thing is covered in bed liner. Really cool look if you ask me. But there's the front. Now our tire wheel setup is 40 times 13 and a half times 17. So it's actually an off-road setup. Yeah, 40s are absolutely massive. And you guys can see who built this. So flow Jeeps. I think this might be the first one that I've ever reviewed. Um, did Falcon for the shocks. See how that performs. But uh, interesting design here with the fender flare. You can see 392 Hemi there on the side. Of course, the little stubby the antenna and then in the rear you can see again with those upgraded falcon shocks and then here's your side profile you see it's a tall rig with the lift and everything 40s look great on jeeps gladiator or wrangler and i like how they even did bed liner on the hard top too that's kind of crazy now we also have this aftermarket bumper in the back these nice recovery points i like the gladiator logo there on the back as well and quick look at the rest of the rear. Yeah, interesting with the fender flares here in the back too. Kind of the old design. Now the inside is where things get real crazy. So this is pretty much normal. But you do have these custom leather seats all red. Pretty cool, right? And then up front that continues where, again, normal setup. Then, kind of like a quilted design all down the center. They added red under the dash. Getting in is kind of difficult. You gotta grab the grab handle and just really pull yourself up. Starting it up. See normal gauge cluster. This does have an aftermarket unit for the infotainment system. You can see the window controls. And then got some different auxiliary switches for like, um, it looks like for the winch. It's one of them, for example. That's cool too with the shifter. And they've added that. And then like the top here, I think that also looks pretty sharp as well. Um, now check out the website for the most up-to-date pricing. Uh, brand new, this would have been like, I think like mid 100s for this type of build, which is crazy to think about. Used, it's obviously a heck of a lot less money, but yeah, these V8 Gladiator builds are not cheap by any means, but see how it performs. Sounds like a smoke alarm. Kind of interesting. Like when the battery's dead. Not quite the same sound actually. Maybe like a microwave. I don't know what I don't know what the beep is. So I'd bring it up. So I'm gonna be a little bit uh you probably gonna have to turn up the volume in this video. I'm gonna be a little bit quieter. <laughs> I've been sick for uh first time in like two years and been hit hard can barely talk we're getting through now I just want to mention 
This is idle. This is literally idle. 510 axle ratio. I'm not touching the gas at all. And it's going this fast with 40s. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that insane? Like, again, look. Make sure no one's coming around. This is no, no fun on the gas. Like, isn't that crazy? It's moving 40s that fast. Let me tell you, it feels, oh, jumpy. Now, if you follow the channel, I reviewed that other Gladiator up here that had the V8 as well. This feels like a much more finished product. Definitely like a, you know, firm ride in normal Gladiator fashion. But, ooh, that's so jumpy. Yeah, it just feels, it feels like more of a, I wouldn't say stock build, but like stock plus, if that makes sense. Feels closer to stock than the other one that I did that review on. That one felt like a complete aftermarket setup. If I bet that person probably couldn't see past me because this thing's so tall. Should be able to get out soon, maybe. This uh, Heber up here is getting way, way too busy. Sad to see all the farms and everything get destroyed so that people can have their rich people subdivisions. Uh, <laughs> every single time I think that we're gonna be able to go, there's another car coming through. Okay, we should be able to, we should be able to just scoot through here. Very interesting with the sound. Suspension's definitely firm. I'll say it doesn't drive bad though with the 40s. Like it handles a lot better than I expected it to, considering the tire size. This is a lot quieter than the other one. The other one was a lot more rambunctious with the V8 sound. This is definitely a lot more tame. I just realized that's a Bronco Raptor. This is, I think this is a high school. That's what I was talking about, rich people. Driving a, imagine driving a Bronco Raptor to high school. Imagine. Yeah, the 40s are pretty loud. It's to be expected. Again, you don't have as much insulation with Gladiators and Wranglers. Braking's not bad. This drives well. I like this a lot, actually. In terms of, oh my gosh, in terms of an aftermarket build. <laughs> yeah. It's got a clean V8 sound. It's not, again, it's not overly obnoxious and it just has a clean tone to it. This is what you want from a V8. Clean, smooth tone. I can't go too fast, but 
it's in terms of it feels almost on par with like a regular 392 Wrangler maybe a little bit slower but not that much and the gearing helps out a lot I think moves these 40s like a charm so let me know what you guys think about this Gladiator build definitely my favorite that I've reviewed I like that they did smaller wheels I like how it drives it actually drives well it's a, it's a cool rig and well the benefit to whoever purchases this it's got 8,000 miles on it and I think it's going for like half of what it was brand new as a build so <laughs> save I mean think about how much money you're saving yourself it's crazy such a cool rig let me know your thoughts